Networking Security Perimeter Security Hi everyone, I am Eng Tiong Chia. Welcome to Perimeter Security Defend in depth The Defend in depth approve includes additional controls in the design to mitigate risk to the organization in the event a primary security control fails in this design should consider how likely the primary control is to fail. The potential organizational risk if it does and the additional control especially in the likely cases that would cause the primary control to fail as more and more of a company digital resources exist outside the corporate network in the cloud and on personal device. It becomes obvious that parameters only base security, example firewall, DMZ, VMNet and no longer at the clear. The adoption of software defined networking and software defined data technologies are driving network segmentation concepts to be more granular example network micro segmentation Virtual network security organization can use virtual network to connect resources virtual networks in Asia are network overlay that you can use to configure and control the connectivity among Azure resources such as VMs and load balancers. Azure virtual networks enable many types of Azure resources such as Azure virtual machine. The security securely communicate with each other. The internet and on premises networks. A virtual network is a scope to a single Azure region. An Azure region is a access of data center deployed within a latency defined parameters and connected through a dedicated regional low latency network. Virtual networks are made up of subnet. A subnet is a range of IP address within your virtual network. Subnet like virtual networks are scoped to a single Azure region. You can implement multiple virtual networks within each Azure subscription and Azure region. DDoS Distributed Design of Service A denial of service attack DOS is an, an attack that has the goal of preventing access to services of system. If the attack originated from one location it is called a DOS. If the attack original from multiple networks and system it is called distributed denial of services DDoS. So DDoS is a collection of attack type aims at disrupting the ability of a target. This attack involves a coordinated effort that use multiple internet connected system to launch many networks requests against DNS, web service, emails and more. Pretty much any application that the malicious hacker can access might become the target of the DDoS. The malicious hacker's goal is to overhaul system resources on target servers so they can no longer process their use legitimate traffic effectively making the system inaccessible. DDoS implementation DDoS protection standard man monitor actual traffic utilization and constantly compare it against the thresholds defined in DDoS policy. When the traffic threshold is assisted. The DDoS mitigation is actually initiated. 
when traffic returns to a level below the mitigation is removed. DDoS protection blocks attack traffic and forwards the removing remaining traffic to its intended destination. Within a few minutes of uh, attack detection, you will be notified with Azure Monitor's metrics by configuring log in on DDoS protection standard telemetry. You can write it lost to available options for future analysis. If you monitor retain metric data, if your firewall implementation controlling outbound network access is an important part of overlay networks. Security plans. For example, you may want to limit access to website, or you may want to limit the outbound access addresses or ports that can be accessed. VPN force tuning. Force tuning let you redirect or force or internet bound traffic back to your on premises location via site to site VPN tuner. For inspection and auditing, this is a critical security requirement for most enterprise IT policies. We are forced tuning internet base, internet internet bounds traffic for your VMs in Azure over travels from the Azure network infrastructure directly to the internet without the option to allow you to inspect or audit traffic. Unauthorized internet access potentially leads to information disclosures or other types of security breach. User define route network virtual appliances. In this architecture, the NVA provide a secure network boundary by checking all inbound and outbound network traffic and passing all the traffic that meets network security rules. However, the fact that all network traffic must pass through the NVA means that NVA is a single point of failure in the network in the NVA fields. There is no other path for network traffic and all the bad subnet are unavailable. If you have any questions, you can find me at my Twitter. Thank you.